Today on Species Profile, I'm going to talk about Smilodon, also known as the saber-toothed tiger. Smilodon was a genus of feline mammal that lived in North and South America. It lived mostly in the Quaternary period, from about 2.5 million to 8,000 BCE. Smilodon has three recognized species. Smilodon populator, Smilodon fatalis, and Smilodon gracilis. Smilodon fatalis being the type species. Smilodon, meaning knife tooth, was described in 1842 by Peter Wilhelm Lund. Smilodon was a large feline. Its length measured up to 2.5 meters and its height 1.1 meters. It weighed 160 to 280 kilograms. The size is comparable to a Siberian tiger. Smilodon was one of the main creatures in the La Brea tar pits, a big predator trap. Often called saber-toothed tiger, it's actually not closely related to tigers, so a more proper name would be saber-toothed cat. Smilodon is the largest and most well-known saber tooth. Over 100 specimens have been found. Smilodon populator had the longest fangs of any saber toothed cat. Their canines were almost 30 centimeters long. The skull was very strong and had big attachment points for muscles, but because they needed to open their mouth so wide, they didn't have that strong of a bite force. Smilodon was the apex predator in its ecosystem. It would have hunted bison and extinct camel species. Giant sloths and elephant species could have been prey too, but this is unlikely. They could have preyed on them, but that would be rare, since giant sloths and elephants are way stronger. Smilodon's short legs wouldn't be well suited for running. Because of this, they used a different technique called ambush predation. They would hide in tall vegetation of the plains that it hunted in and then jump out on its prey. Then, Smilodon would use its big fangs to kill their prey. It is unknown if Smilodon lived in a pride like modern lions, but this could be plausible. But some people think that because of their brain size, Smilodon wouldn't be able to sustain a pack. Smilodon probably didn't live in a pride, but in some kind of other, smaller social group. Male and female individuals of Smilodon were the same size. This is odd for felines. There's also no sign of sexual dimorphism. A good question about Smilodon. Did it have lips over its fangs? Well. The feline with the biggest canines today, the clouded leopard, does have lips, but we just don't know. But why did Smilodon go extinct? Probably because the prey that it used to hunt went extinct by humans. Now, the only prey left were small and agile, but Smilodon wasn't fast enough for this type of prey, which is probably why most individuals died of starvation. Well, that was it for today. I hope you enjoyed. Comment which creature I should talk about next. See you later. Bye!